As the controversy over the live-action Sonic movie trailer is uh, pretty much settled down and I've had time to uh, collect my overall thoughts of it myself, I wanted to go ahead and say what I think so far. Now, leading up to the release of the trailer, we've already been having doubts about this movie, you know, what with the uh, silhouette trailer and the muscle-like meme. <laughs> um, uh, the leaked image of Sonic on that manual, I believe, was the most reassuring of the bunch. I mean, I thought the face looked okay, but, you know, that's about it. Doesn't really say much. And then the trailer comes out. The first time I saw Sonic, it kinda caught me off guard. I mean, you saw me covering my eyes in my live stream. Now, look, I don't have a problem with Sonic just looking different than he normally would in his games. In fact, I don't think anybody in their right mind would. I mean, Sonic Boom comes to mind, so... I had originally gone into this wanting to say that it wasn't as bad as people were making it out to be, probably because of that image I mentioned earlier. But after looking at it a bit more, I can pretty much say with confidence that this is not a good Sonic model. In fact, it's, um... Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's bad. Now, I won't spend a lot of time on the design itself, because I'm sure everything about it has pretty much been said by now. I mean, look, I don't mind Sonic having two eyes. I'm sure there's a way that you can make the design choice work. I mean, again, Boom Sonic had blue arms too, and that looked just fine. But real-life body proportions just do not look good on a character that was meant to look cartoonish in the first place. And why the hell is Sonic's mouth fur colored beige, but his torso and hand fur are white? God, it just seems so off to me. Anyways, uh, so upon the time of uh, recording this, uh, the director, I think it was, came out on Twitter and publicly stated that he heard the thrashing that Sonic's model was getting and that they were going to fix him. But I don't think this is something that can be fixed. I think they just need to completely... They just need to completely scrap the Sonic and start right the fuck over from scratch. I mean, of course, it's possible that they made a bad Sonic on purpose and everything is going according to plan while they already had, like, a better model on standby, but I, I don't think that's it. I think they just made something that they thought looked good and it just didn't work out in the end. I mean, come on, they're only people. People make mistakes. And, look, if they're going to make Sonic look as best they can, like they say they will, I think that a delay from the initial release window of November is pretty much inevitable, unless they just swap it with, like, a pre-existing model from one of their games, like Team Sonic Racing or something. I mean, I don't know much about 3D modeling, but unless they pull some crazy kung fu shit and make something great within, like, five months, yeah, they're probably gonna have to delay the movie, which I would be completely okay with. <clears throat> now, I made a comment comparing this to another movie in my Blind Reaction livestream, and I think I've come to a conclusion about it. Personally, I think that the current live-action Sonic model looks equally as bad as Defective Pikachu, just in a different way. And I don't want to hear anybody tell me, oh, but they spent two long years studying the science. No, shut up. I don't want to hear it. Pikachu, no, Pokemon were not meant to look like this. Yes, wh while they do look accurate to their original designs, that doesn't make... Well, okay, look, that's beside the point. If I had to choose between the two to look at again, believe it or not... It would have to be Sonic for one reason. And that's for this one shot of his close-up here. Now, when I first saw this shot, I just didn't want to look at it, as you saw. But the initial reaction that you saw in my live stream was pretty much how I reacted to Defective Pikachu. But the difference was that after looking at this shot for a while, it actually kind of grew on me, and now I think it looks kind of cool. I mean, this one still image kind of goes to show that there are a few ways to make Sonic's current design look good. Emphasis on few. Okay, aside from that one shot, I'm sorry, this design's gotta go. I mean, hey, what can I say? Sometimes my opinion's not all that unpopular. Anyways, you know, even though his design can be changed, I don't think his dialogue and personality can. He's not funny, 
His voice sounds generic as hell, and even if you did change his design, I probably still wouldn't believe that this was Sonic because of how how he's portrayed in this movie. But aside from Sonic himself, there are a couple of other concerns that I have with the trailer. Um, however, the whole gangsters paradise thing was not one of them. I mean, it, it's fucking Hollywood. The music they pick for these trailers will never really have much importance anyway. So for me, it was just it was just whatever. Uh, when I first noticed the uh, Green Hills sign, I stated that there was a company that I recalled that had the same name, but I couldn't remember what they made at the time. And upon doing some Google magic, it turns out that I was actually thinking of the game company that made Night Underground. I think that's how you pronounce it. But it wasn't called Green Hills, it was just Green Hill. I just thought I'd clear that up in public. Anyway, back to the trailer itself. Uh, why is Sonic electrified? Um, now, one possibility is that he may have had an electric shield, you know, from Sonic 3, you know, considering that the ending shot could potentially be, like, Eggman standing in Mushroom Valley, I, I guess, or Mushroom Hill, Mushroom Kingdom, I don't even know what it's called anymore, but this is something that kind of needed to be explained. In fact, there are a couple things that don't make sense, like, why is Sonic able to stop time now? I mean, I'm actually kind of expecting him to start phasing through walls now, you know, complete with the electricity and shit. Now, one possibility is that he may have used Chaos Control. But then, how did he use it? Did he use a Chaos Symbol? Are Chaos Symbols in this movie? Or can he just use it whenever he wants? And if so, then why doesn't he use it for anything else? Like, like I don't know, dodging a Tranquilizer dart. Another thing, uh, why do rings suddenly transport people to other places now? And, and I don't mean like those giant rings that take you to special stuff. I mean like regular ass rings that you can hold in one hand. I mean, goddamn, I guess you could say that's two rings to rule them all. <laughs> and what the hell was that line about possibly needing to save the world? Because from the looks of the trailer, it looked like Eggman just wanted to kill Sonic and that's it. Just, just what? You know, the trailer just raises too many questions. And speaking of Eggman, Jim Carrey was, uh... Yeah, I, I thought he was alright, I guess. I mean, he did get a laugh out of me, as you saw, but when I see him in this movie, I don't really see Eggman as much as I see Ace Ventura, maybe except for the uh, brief Count Olaf cameo at the very end. Um, do I think he's going to be the highlight of the whole show, like everyone's declaring? Uh, well, let's just say that if he is... This movie's fate has already been decided, but for me, the best part of the trailer was the child in a bag joke near the end. But that was more so because, you know, when you consider that this movie is geared more towards a younger audience, hearing a joke as dark as this one just coming out of nowhere, you can't help but just laugh at how surreal it seemed. And, um, yeah, I guess it's... Really all I wanted to say. I just feel like I needed to have a more organized opinion on this matter after my initial reaction. I mean, I usually try not to let raw emotion dictate quality or my personal opinion. And, you know, after settling down and letting everything sink in. And keep in mind that I don't like Sonic games, despite growing up with the franchise. But, regardless, I really thought that I could be more positive about this trailer, but I just couldn't do it. And this really was a bad trailer, primarily because... Oh, God, you know, even if this wasn't a Sonic movie, Oscar from Shark Tale, meet your fucking match. Jesus. You know, up, up to this point, I've been holding out hope that they were going somewhere good with this movie. You know, especially upon seeing Jim Carrey's name in the cast list, but... After seeing this trailer, those hopes have pretty much been dashed. I mean, even if they do give us a much better looking Sonic, I... I really don't see much of a reason to think that this uh, movie will get anything higher than a below average rating from me. In fact, I'll probably just end up downloading the movie illegally so I won't feel guilty about giving mediocrity money. Uh, so, I'm the Negative Ion. See you.